All right, so uh, a nice 10 to 5 went out there today. Uh, can you talk about the performance of your team this afternoon? Well, we went into this game 0-2. Um, we had Medfield last week, which was a tough game in a monsoon uh, weather. We lost 13-5. Uh, to And then we played Foxborough, who was an out-of-league opponent who we, we hadn't played before, but who has really improved in the last couple of years, and we lost 14-7. Uh, to To date, we hadn't really played um, our best. Um, the goalies had been, both goalies together, had been un well under 40%. And um, today, one of the big differences and what really boosts the team's confidence is the fact that um, Amanda Hasbrook, who was a starter last year, um, started the game today and, and was outstanding, made a bunch of saves. I don't know how many exactly, 10, which might be a per tie her personal best, um, and uh, did good things with the ball. When she did save them, all her clears were right on. And um, so that, that, was, that was a big help. We were winning draws today. Um, the, the downside of today was um, uh, one of our captains, Taylor Pichel, going down uh, in the, gosh, I think it was in the first half, um, towards the end of the first half. She kind of twisted an ankle. She's had some chronic ankle and knee is issues. So unfortunately, she's a key player on our team. And, um, and then after that, Natalie Calkins, another midfielder, um, a fre freshman midfielder went, uh, came out of the game with um, a nice lump on her head um, with a collision. Could be a concussion, we don't know. Hopefully it won't be because she'll be out for um, at least a week if that's the case. But those, uh, those two girls along with Maggie Dolan are kind of the heart of our scoring and, um, and certainly our midfield winning all our draws, etc. So um, that was tough, but what I was proud of is that everybody else stepped up and had to um, maintain the small lead that we had. And at one point, I think we were up um, actually maybe uh, 10 to three. So um, we, we actually increased the lead with them being out of the game with people on the bench. So that makes me feel really good. Uh, we, don't, we have a small team this year. But um, the fact that the kids can come off the bench and maintain and then stretch out the lead is awesome. At the end, we had uh, we were just trying to kill the clock when it was 10 to 5, and we went into something what I call um, uh, red 50, which means you know it, we're not 100% in a stall, but if you like what you see, you can take a shot, but it better go in. And uh, we, we took some good looks. They didn't go in, but we didn't lose the ball. We got the rebound. All seven girls that were over um, the last five minutes that were over the restraining line and on our offensive end were actually um, all underclassmen. So we had a bunch of freshmen out there and a bunch of sophomores. So and they and they maintained the ball and held it for five minutes with with a couple shots, got the rebounds, and they you know they played like upperclassmen. They played like seniors out there, and some of them have never played varsity before. So. Um, you know, today was nice. We had Sydney Joyce uh, scoring for the first time. Had Sydney McDonald take a couple uh, shots on goal, which were good quality shots. And as I said, Amanda Hasbrook was outstanding. So um, it was a uh, it was a good way to get our first win. It was our first home game. We're on the road now against Medway on Friday, and uh, Medway's a little stronger than Holliston. Um, very athletic. They have a real strong freshman class coming in. So um, last year we. Uh, we we tied Medway the first time we played them, um, and we've uh, we've yet to beat Holliston or Ashland or Medway in in the league's history. But every year those teams get better, so um, it's going to happen at some point. Of course, I don't want it to happen ever, um, or at least maybe until I retire. But. Um, uh, it, it'll be a challenge, especially if we can't go get those um, those two girls, uh, Taylor and um, Natalie, um, healthy and ready to play. Uh, Maggie Dolan's going to have to step up big time. She had six goals today out of the the ten that we scored, and uh, um, Martha or Maddie, as we call her, Stouse, scored uh, three goals, which is really great for her. Uh, that might be a personal best, and and um, she she's got a great shot. She has a great stick. She just needs to go to the cage a little more, and she did today when we needed her to. So, um, so I was really happy. Uh, yeah, it certainly seemed like uh, it was more of a, an aggressive approach in that second half. You really took control of the game. Yeah, I you know I don't um, I feel like Holliston doesn't have. Um, as strong skills as us. So um, what I ask the girls to do is kind of double the ball everywhere on the field, which can get really tiring, but um, the goal there was to um, 
force a lot of turnovers, and we we did. We had far more turnovers that we forced for them than um, we caused on our own. So um, that that strategy worked. Sometimes it doesn't always work against an extremely skilled team like uh, Westwood, but um, in in this case today, it did it did work. All right, coach. Well, we look forward to the rest of the season. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Thanks.